Hi friends, this video is a simple explanation on how actually the aircraft flies. Now at some point of time we all have wondered that how things fly. May it be butterflies, birds, insects that inhibit natural way of flying or may it be man made machines like aeroplanes, helicopters, fighter aircrafts, gliders etc. We will try to find out. Now the talk structure is as following, we will talk talking briefly on the various forces acting on the aircraft and essentially how the lift is developed and some other factors that may affect the lift. Now to talk about the forces, here the representative diagram of aircraft is shown where the various four forces are shown with their direction. Now to mention there are two forces that are natural forces in this one. The weight due to the gravity and the drag due to the shape of the aircraft. Now flight can only be achieved if these two adverse forces are overcome. Now if you see the figure, here is the engine, this is the aircraft fuselage, these are wings, this is vertical tail, this is horizontal tail. Now to overcome the drag, which is actually because of the shape of the aircraft, we have a mechanism of engines which could be jet engines or we could have the propeller engine in the front fuselage. Now how to overcome the weight? So that is most important part in the study. So the mechanism has to be understood as to how one can overcome the weight to produce lift and have a sustained flight. Now if you see this is called airfoil, actually this is a cross section area of the wing. To simplify the forces actually on a plane, here thrust is produced because of the engine in the forward direction to overcome the drag which is because of the shape of the aircraft and lift is being produced to overcome the weight. So this is as far as the airfoil forces are concerned. So a quick brief on the various forces. Weight is due to the gravity and it is always directed towards the center of the earth. The total weight of the aircraft actually incl includes the mass of the aircraft plus fuel plus weight of the people on board plus the luggage and flight could only be achieved if the weight is overcome by the lift force. So as to understood the drag, the drag is basically because of the shape of the object. It is a resistance force created by a object's movement through the air. Which brings us to the thrust. Thrust is actually a forward force provided by the engine installed which helps, on, helps in overcoming the drag. Also helps in the accelerating and achieving the speed and also to gain the altitude. Now the lift. One thing has to be understood first that without the motion of the object or the air, I mean the medium fluid, there could be no lift. So there has to be a motion either of the object or of the medium fluid. In the case of the aircraft, either the fluid has to 
have the speed because of its motion or if the fluid is stationary as in the natural case the aircraft moves so the aircraft is in motion and hence the lift is produced we will be discussing about the various lift theories but before that just to understand the magnitude of the lift depends on the shape of the wings also the size of the wing and the velocity the higher the velocity the higher the lift before going to the lift theory lifting theories just to understand the basic concepts of the fluid the lift can only be in the presence of the moving fluid before we begin just to show you a float of the air as how it flows through the air foil 2d air foil which is a representation of the 3d wing and also before understanding the lifting theories a simple principle known as the bernoulli principle has to be understood which is the higher the speed lower the pressure lower the speed higher the pressure lift theory number 1 which is also known as the longer path or equal transit theory please focus on the diagram shown here the air molecules that are on the leading edge has to actually travel through the distance and meet here at the trailing edge now air foil is made in such a way that the upper surface has the longer path and lower surface has the lesser path now since the path is longer since the path is longer on the upper surface to the air molecule has to travel faster to meet the red molecule at the trailing edge so also the bottom molecules can travel slower so that they meet at the same time at the trailing edge so essentially the top fluid has to move faster and bottom fluid has to move slower and from the bernoulli principle we know that the higher the velocity lower the pressure lower the velocity higher the pressure so we see that the, there is low pressure on the upper surface there is high pressure on the bottom surface so the total pressure is actually on the upper direction which is then known as the lift i hope i explained it well here is the lift theory number 2 which is a very simple momentum theory also known as the skipping stone theory which is based on the newton's third law of action reaction every action has its reaction so the idea of this theory is as the molecule strikes the bottom of the air foil imparting the momentum to the air foil so as to generate the lift lift theory number 3 venturi theory one has to understand the velocity area concept which is velocity times area is equal to constant when the air foil is actually into the air flow there is venturi created on the top surface of the air foil with the free stream now since the area is reduced here to have a constant of velocity times area the velocity has to increase so velocity has to increase here which in turn will give the low pressure as we understood from the bernoulli theorem high velocity provides low pressure so now it is very simple the low pressure on the upper surface higher pressure on the bottom surface will eventually give the 
lift towards the upper surface. Lift theory number four, which is actually based on the Newton's second law, F equal to m a. And if we actually break them down into this equation, we could see that velocities actually have the magnitude and direction. So as the force, so changing either the speed or direction of the flow. So by changing the direction of the flow, the force direction can be managed. So if the flow direction is going towards the upper surface, the force direction will also be towards the upper surface, which in turn is known as the lift. Now, just we'll quickly go through the factors that may affect the lift, which is the speed. So, higher the speed, higher the lift, and also the density of the air, denser the air, higher the lift. Then there is the shape of the wing, and also the angle of attack. The lift could be increased by increasing the angle of attack. I hope this was helpful. The effort was to have an understanding of flight without actually going through the equ equations, mathematical equations. So, if you liked the video, please subscribe my YouTube channel, Sharp Underscore Angles, for future videos. Thank you for watching.